like you, you know and for this this narrative i don't know what online's saying and i don't give a flying fuck but the narrative that logan paul didn't come out a winner on this thing is nuts dude nuts you're talking about a kid who's never won a boxing match who was oh and one for god's sakes against another youtuber fights the greatest boxer of our generation maybe of all time who's 50 and oh it's eight rounds and not only did he not get demolished it went the goddamn distance now if there's judges in that fight did he win that fight no that's not what i'm saying i'm saying from a logan paul standpoint this is such a major win major win now to that point I can't tell uh, when you, they say ringside, I could have licked that goddamn mat. I was so close. When I say Floyd looked every bit of 44, I'm telling you, dude, father time was like, hey, Floyd, why don't I keep doing this? You're 44. His, his just his reflexes and instinct, it just wasn't there. And so this is actually the perfect storm for Logan. And this was the big uh, X factor for him where I. I was basing my prediction off of Floyd who fought Connor, which was 2017, I think. Is that right? Oh, look. So that's a, that's a long time ago, dude. I was basing my prediction off that. So, you know, that's fucking, what, four, five years ago? Four, four, right? 17, 18, 19, yeah, 21, right. five, five years ago. That's all. When you're 44, 39 to 44 is a big difference. So it, it caught up with him a little. And I think the the combination of being 44, losing a few steps, and then F Logan Paul was way bigger. Looked like fucking Hulk Hogan in there compared to him. So Chris Hemsworth. So when you can put all that together, probably not hitting as hard, not as powerful, not as quick. Logan's a big guy. You put all that together, that's why it went to decision. That's why it went to decision. And he here's my other thing uh, on Logan. I want you guys to go back and watch any any fighter their first two fights. I want you to watch their first two fights and see how clumsily the footwork, the head movement, there's no feints, they're bashing to each other. It looks more like a f shit wrestling match, but they can't throw punches. It's a nightmare. For Logan Paul to have, now this is his third fight, right? How to draw the loss, now this. For him to look like that in his third fight, against floyd mayweather is nuts hoes that's why i call him an alien a he doesn't give a flying fuck about how he did and the nerves don't get to him and then also b for only have three fights and you're fighting in front of millions and millions of people and the nerves didn't get to you even in it when i'm talking when floyd's walking out he's looking on ah, uh, uh, and then he's looking at his coach he's like yeah I mean, what's the worst gonna happen i'm like what the fuck this kid, ignorance is bliss, man. This guy doesn't know. I was so nervous for him, but it's nuts. It's nuts. Before the fight, I had a, a conversation with his dad. So his dad and mom are back there, and they're getting their hands wrapped, and he's getting geared up, and Jake's back there doing his thing, you know, with his brother, getting him tips. And his dad comes over to me, and he's like, man, I just want to, you know, thank you, and we're, I'm talking to his dad. I can tell his dad's nervous. His dad, The parents were nervous, rightfully so. The parents were nervous. Jake was nervous. Jake was really nervous, which is, uh, we'll get to that. Jake was really nervous. To, for, he goes, I get way more nervous for my brother fight than I do. He goes, I'm like my brother. When he fights, I'm the same. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, you guys are psychos. But so his dad was nervous. So I'm talking to his dad. His dad's talking about, you know, the difference between Jake and him and, you know, where they're at and what I think is going to happen. And I told him, I said, you know, I was trying to make him more at ease from my perspective. I said, the good thing is, is he's fighting a 44 year old who's l l way lighter. So it's if he does get hurt, it's not going to be a it's not like he's fighting Francis and Ghana. He's not he's not going to get hurt to the point where he's going to get flatlined and he's going to get carried on a stretcher. So maybe he gets hurt to the body or something like that if that were to happen. But you guys have won like you've won, man. You guys should no matter what happens tonight, you guys should be stoked cuz your son has won. The amount of money, and I knew where the minimum paper he was there at, but when I was talking to his dad, the minimum, I knew how much money Logan was going to get. So the amount of money that he's going to get to take on this fight, which is a, a spectacle, an entertainment fight, but for him to even get that from YouTube to this is insane. And this is what I told his dad, and your son never has to do this again. 
No, he can walk away for the rest. Never, you're not, you don't have to see him go through this ever. You guys don't have to do this. That's the other great thing. No matter what happens, he never has to do this again. It's all good. Worst case, he gets dropped. You guys get out of here. Fucking few, a ton of money. And he never has to do this again. You never have to go through this again. You know? Yeah, the parents are nervous. Jake was super nervous. Super nervous. Super, super nervous. 